This lesson is called Recovering a Loss, and it's appropriate for ages 3 to 99. At the start of each art project I do, I like to know where my cleaning supplies are at first. So, we'll only need a napkin for this one. Our supplies for today will be clay, any kind will do, some scissors, a pencil, and some string, also any kind will do. I'm going to give you a moment to gather your supplies if you haven't already, and just Take a deep breath. Here's another kind of string that I have, just for an example. Does everyone have their supplies ready? All right, and if you're ready, let's move on to the next step. Now, I want you to imagine something small that you lost and missed dearly. I lost an earring that I think about. My friend makes earrings and had only one pair of these. When I put them on, she said the kindest compliment. She said, Romana, you were made for these earrings because you're also one of a kind. And then I lost one of them. The earring was shaped like a hand. It was smaller than my own hand, but it was bigger than my nose. It was white and very shiny. I have lost all sorts of things that were even smaller, just so small, I couldn't seem to find them on the ground, anywhere in my kitchen, in my room, and some things, well, we're imagining. I think it's a great idea to warm up your clay. Sometimes it can be kind of hard. And we want to soften it up so we can shape it better. Now we're going to form the object you lost, keeping its shape the best you can. And then we'll be flattening it with our hands or with our pencils, like baking a pizza. And now, here's the earring that I lost. I want you to grab your pencil and we're going to make two holes right next to each other. Those holes can be left or right or up and down, just as long as they are next to each other. Poking all the way through, slowly, and not all the way with your pencil, just the sharpened part.
Remember our napkin from earlier? I'm gonna wipe my pencil off so the clay doesn't dry onto it. Now, we're gonna do this one together. If you know how to tie a knot, that's exactly what we're doing. But if not, we'll go through it really slow so you can see how. Take your string, wrap it around the other end, and tie it through the loop. Just like so. And then, we're gonna do it one more time. Now I want you to slide that knot off the pencil towards the tip. We're gonna slide it all the way off. And our string might look different, but as long as you have a circle going, maybe it's an oval. Now get ready to grab your clay creation from earlier. We're going to be taking our string, the pointed end, and we're going to feed it through one of the holes, like so. Pull it all the way, but not all the way through, just like so. And then we're going to feed it through the back part. Pull it all the way through. Anyone know what it is? Surprise, we made a button. And now, I'm gonna go play with my dog outside. It's currently raining, and I like to put my jacket on a couple of minutes before I go outside, because it keeps me warmer. I forgot to say goodbye and thank you for joining me today. See you next time when we learn how to sew on a button. <laughs>